Welcome back to my channel. This is Sangeeta and welcome to Geo Gyanam. So today I cannot give you analysis for the net exam because I myself didn't appear for this one. I was so much swamped in my office work that I, I got no chance to study for this exam because uh, we have to study oceanography, climatology and geophysics. These parts include a lot of weightage. So I plan to drop this time and I will appear in the next session which is going to held in hopefully in December. But today I can give you analysis about the IUAC exam which is Inter University Accelerator Center which held on 11th of September. Approximately 500 students applied for this exam. It was for 125 marks. There was no negative marking. Out of 500, uh, I, I can barely see that there were around 150 to 200 students in the center because I feel there was only one center uh, which was in uh, New Delhi, uh, Vasant Kunj. And the blunder was they gave the exact same question paper which held on 2021 for the UPSC part. Yes, you heard me right. They have given the exact same questions. You can you can clearly see there, there were around 100 questions from that part because 25 questions were for the reasoning and aptitude part. It was a bonus point for those who have already seen the answer key which was uploaded on the uh, UPSC website but it was uh, a bad luck for those who haven't seen that before. There were six seats and 500 students applied for that. This was all about the IUSC exam. We are always in a learning phase in our life journey. So what the lesson which I have learned this time that one should not <laughs> one should not take previous past papers for granted whether you are appearing for UPSC exam, whether you are appearing for gate exam or any other exam you should attempt at least last five year question paper or at least last two year paper which this is the bare minimum which you can do for the exam. So this was the very short and important life lesson which I have learned so far after giving this exam. So one should always learn in their life. So I am also learning. I am also in a learning phase. Uh, so those who want to see IUAC part analysis they can see in the initials which I have explained. And those who want to see the analysis for assistant geo can see one video which will get played after this. So thank you so much. Hello to all. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sangeeta. And those who are new here, welcome to my channel. This is Sangeeta. And I have completed my master's in geology. And I upload videos related to geology as well as my life. Like what, what exactly is going on in my life. I upload few vlogs too. So if you find them interesting, do watch them. And today I'm going to discuss the analysis for assistant uh, geologist exam 2022, which held on 27th of August. Okay. So before starting the analysis, let me tell you that this exam is of 300 marks. And if you choose any wrong answer, you will get penalty of one third, which is 0.33. All right. And this exam is of two hours. So starting with the hydrology part. We have seen there were five questions approximately. One is from the Thais and Theme equation and another one is paper trilinear diagram which we have read in our MSCs. I don't know about the uh, new syllabus but we have read this part in our MSC. Okay. And next one is character of aquifers. Then we can see one numericals too which is very easy about the void ratio. And now moving on to the remote sensing part, we have seen two questions. One is data interpolation and resampling. Another one is satellites were given, uh, which were thematic mapper, Landsat, Spot, ESO, and we have to match them with their resolution in meters. Next one is NDVI, which is normalized difference vegetative index. And another one is NDSI, they can ask in future too. We can also see one numerical from vertical aerial photograph, which we have seen in our gate exams too. Next part is earthquake part. We have seen four questions from that seismogram, seismometer. Okay. Then there was gravity method question and sonic code drilling, which was part of the geophysics. Okay. Next one is sedimentology. So we have seen three questions from there, which is related to beach environment. Another one is tsunami. So from the structural, we have seen many questions about the bedding joint, vertical fault, rock strength. Okay with increasing confining pressure, heave and throw, fault plane, fold, triple junction, Euler pole, geomagnetic poles, strike slip fault, okay, and lithostatic pressure. And of course, sabse important Mohs scale, which we, ha we can see in our gate exams too, okay. From engineering geolo geology, 
in the last time they were asking questions from the dam part but this time they have asked the question from the tunnel part and we can see one numerical 2 from the uniaxial compressive strength part ok. Then trench and pitting method was there, channel sampling was there and one numerical from RQD you can see then shear strength parameters were also asked. Economic geology part you can see the questions from BIF deposit which is banded iron formation, ore minerals and their elements we have to match them, placer deposit, supergene deposit, pegmatite deposit, mineral at which location that if there are certain minerals they will form at, at which state in India ok. Then hydrothermal deposits, geochemical exploration for mineral deposit and porphyry deposits. And uh, in case of uh, geochemistry we can see questions from RE, paleoclimate isotopic system, gallium their ionic charge, radii, lanthanide contraction, nucleosynthesis of nuclei. And in case of mineralogy we can see two questions from the amphibole part that what is their general formula and what is their silica and oxygen ratio. Okay. And in case of uh, paleontology we can see questions from conodont that what is their age from brachiopod, forearms, human evolution, echinophagias, adiacaran fossil, gondwana fossil very important which they ask in all exams of geology, trilobites and elephant evolution too. Okay? From the metamorphic petrology part we can see question from the deformation recovery and recrystallization which, is, which are the metamorphic texture part. Then we can see one question from paired metamorphic belt, then snowball garnet which is again the texture, then Barovian metamorphism, metamorphic reactions was asked which is the terminal reaction. There were two questions from myelonites, migmatites and magnesium number. Then we can see few questions from stratigraphy too. There were Arakan mobile belt, ophiolite and sequence stratigraphy, lidar group of Kashmir, then biostratigraphy, allostratigraphy, geochronologic unit, chronostratigraphic unit, Kaladgi group and there were few questions from igneous petrology which were related to tie line, textures, shoshonite, eutectic point, aluminum index and diapers. Then there were few questions from geomorphology which is related to sedimentary structure, paleocurrent, moraines, dunes, fluid mechanics, sediment transport mechanism and pingo nivation these are the various landforms of uh, glaciers. Then in from crystallography we can see three questions one from the twinning part then crystal system and then the optical characters. We discuss about the cutoff of this examination according to the sources which are my seniors who are already posted. So they have given this exam the last time when it was conducted. So they have informed me that there was 181 marks for cutoff for general category and 165 for the OBC one. All right. So, every time the cutoff will vary plus 10 or minus 10 for each category. So, you can expect cutoff as per this 